I'm so relieved to have found you. I fear my upcoming meeting is going to be disrupted. Strike you. Weapons, maybe. Your heart. Spies. Ruffians who fear the march of progress. Huh. So I'm bodyguarding them. Marvelous. I worry that any agitation will incite terrible violence. So please remove troublemakers without attracting any attention. Wunderbar. Thank you. I must prepare, but I will see you inside shortly. Thank <laughs> you. 
Parliament are a great service for the workers of London. I'm confident the reforms we seek cannot be far over the hmm. horizon. I don't suppose you'd formally join the Workers' Party. I'm not much for politics. He's not much for anything that requires deep thought. Does that mean you'll join, Comrade Evie? I'm afraid I have other responsibilities. Honorary memberships, perhaps. You don't give up, do you? We seem to have that in common. Auf Wiedersehen, my friends. Your attempts to influence Parliament for the Indian cause have failed. You must do more. I will not jeopardize my relationship with Queen and country to satisfy your crusade. Your Highness, you belong to India, not here acting the part of a noble foreigner. I have wasted enough time indulging in this if your nonsense. your mother could see you now, the last Maharaja of Punjab, basking inside his golden cage. How dare you? I always recommend bringing someone's mother into the argument. If he doesn't help his people, he will regret it forever. How may we help? Will you talk to him? He won't listen to me. We'll do our best. Suppose Mr. Green sent you. Bringing up your mother was... Impolite, and he was wrong to do so. We'd like to rectify the situation. 
then humor me and join me in a shooting game. None of these people have any sense of enjoyment and I am bored to death. A shooting game? Seeing you haven't changed at all. Ellsworth? Oh my word! <laughs> How good it is to see you! The mother country has treated you well. <laughs> uh, Jacob and Evie Fry, this is Brinley Ellsworth, a friend from a past life. You've made new friends, I see. What brings you to this part of the Empire? Ah, company business, unfortunately. But I could not resist the chance of seeing you again. It's been far too long. I've heard nobody throws a party better than my dearest friend. <laughs> I'm eager to see if your reputation overseas holds any truth. My servant Thomas will be scoring the game. <clears throat> Acquire the most amount of points by shooting the bottles in front of you. Each bottle is worth one point. You have 30 seconds. May the best shot win. Start the timer. Nine points. Come, Thomas. This isn't enough of a challenge. Let's shorten the timer. Round two will now commence. Try and do as well, if not better, within a 20 second time limit. Timer is the ready. Begin. I do believe you are equally matched with this one, Singh. Your turn, Your Highness. Come, let us see if you are better with a gun than you were with a slingshot. <laughs> Allow me. Impressive. I am in awe of him. What they say of me is true. What on earth? Sir, I believe I heard a second shot. He's right. That sounded like a second gunshot. Strange. Strange indeed. Let me investigate. I'm sure it wasn't anything serious. Don't bother. Are you suggesting this is a serious matter? It was most likely just an echo. Leave it be now. I've been doing this a long time. I know the difference between one shot and two. There were most definitely two shots. A second shot? I didn't hear anything. There was no one else who would shoot a gun at a party. about guns are prohibited in the gardens I saw the man in front of me with a gun I just assumed it was part of the decor you know how royalty likes to socialize I saw the man in front of me
prince is causing problems. He deserves to be silenced. Kill him! You too will be silent. Knocking the lock off! Well, well, well. Seems our old friends the Templars are involved. Ah, Jacob. I trust you're enjoying yourself? The second shot... I told you I won't hear any more of it today. I must go back to my party. You must fill me in on your life here. It's been far too long. Apologies, Your Highness. And if you won't listen, perhaps Greeny will. Any progress? We're not the only ones who want His Highness's attention. Don't tell me the British Indies companies are asking him again. They can't afford it. Well, let's just say it's not just the BIC. And Singh doesn't want any part of it. The Templars? It can't be. At this rate, they'll have him before he can do any good. We have to convince him to trust us. Meet me back at my old shop. I might know something that can help. There, girl. 